Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony and we are in April of 2023. It is raining here in Western North Carolina and cold. And I'm standing in front of, at one time, the nation's smallest post office, Grimshaw's Rural Post Office. We're gonna go inside and take a look and learn a little bit about the history of Grimshaw's Rural Post Office right after this station identification. This building is five feet wide and six feet long. Here is a newspaper clipping from the Decatur Herald, Decatur, Illinois, the 23rd of October. 1953 it says economy drive hit smallest post office Grimshaw's North Carolina AP the nation's smallest post office has been closed the tiny Grimshaw post office like many other rural post offices in recent months felt the pinch of the U.S. Post Office Department economy drive. It served six families in the White Cove section of Jackson County. They now, they now receive their mail on a star route. This rustic 74-year-old post office structure was only six feet long, six feet five inches wide. Miss May Passmore, the former postmaster, said people from all over the world wrote to the Grimshaws to have letters postmarked. Here are three photographs of the post office being moved with a forklift. We are in Cashiers, North Carolina, and this is called Bridal Bell Falls. If you are in North Carolina and you'd like to see a waterfall and you don't want to have to hike very far, I highly recommend this one. It is called Bridal Bell Falls. And it's right on the highway and used to be you could drive right under it. Not any longer, but I can walk under it. And the road used to go right under the falls. That's Bridalville Falls. It's pretty cool and wet. It's a little waterfall along Highway 64 between Highlands and Franklin, North Carolina. I am continuing my 
cold rainy day weather adventure in Western North Carolina. Previously, I was at the oldest, smallest post office near Cashiers, North Carolina. We have moved on to Highlands, North Carolina. Behind me is the Will Henry Stevens covered bridge. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can learn a little bit about it. Best I can tell, the Will Henry Stevens Bridge was originally in New Hampshire. It is, it is thought to be New Hampshire's oldest covered bridge. It was known as the Bagley Bridge. The Bagley Bridge crossed over the Warner River in New Hampshire. In 1966, it was closed because it was in real bad shape and it was disassembled and put in storage. 40 years later, it was moved to North Carolina. Being repaired even now, these massive beams. The Will Henry Stevens Bridge is at the entrance of the Bascom Center. And I believe the Bascom Center is probably a, perhaps a, a venue type site where they have weddings and things like that. There's a pretty old structure here. See if I can slide down the hill without busting my tail on this wet grass. Well, this is pretty cool. A corn crib from around 1840. How about that? And for those that don't know what a corn crib is, it's where you put your baby corn to sleep while you're waiting for it to grow up. No, not really. It's a place where you put your corn to dry so you can feed it to your livestock. You see the slats in the wood allows the corn to stay inside without it falling out by getting proper ventilation to dry out. That is a beautiful bridge. Not very many covered bridges left in the United States. With this one, you can actually drive a car across. Of course, after it's repaired. Well, I think I have stood in the rain long enough today. It's gonna be a real short video, I know, but I hope you enjoy it just the same. If you did, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. But until next time, Y'all have a good day.